CTET and TET is compulsory for GPSTR. So the answer to this question is friends, yes, it is compulsory. Minimum 50% marks should be there in graduation and uh, aspirant must have done B.Ed or D.Ed and uh, the aspirant should have qualified TET paper 2 which is conducted by Public Education Department Karnataka for 6th to 8th class GPSTR. Now what is the GPSTR? As most of you know, it is a graduate primary school teacher recruitment which is to be notified soon by Karnataka government. So it is important for us to start preparing for a teacher recruitment examinations like GPSTR and HSTR. Okay. Now coming back to the eligibility criteria, you should have done TET or CTET will also do. Okay. It is a central uh, teacher eligibility test which is conducted by CBSC under the government of India. So TET or CTET is mandatory along with the graduation and BA or DA. Okay. And what about the age limit? Age limit is a minimum 21 years should be there and a maximum 40 years for general merit candidates, 47 years for SC, ST, PWD candidates and 45 years for OBC candidates. Okay. So I hope I answered this question to all of you. Okay. So after knowing that TET is compulsory for GPSTR, what we should keep in our mind first now that if we have not cleared TET, we should clear it this time. Okay. CTET or TET. Okay. So if you want a paid course for a TET, then uh, uh, we have a paper 2 course. You will get the details of a TET paper 2 course below this video. Okay. You will get to know it in the telegram channel also if you join. No, you can ask your doubts uh, in the telegram group which is connected to the telegram channel. Okay. Now let me answer one uh, frequently asked question. Aspirants keep on asking me, Madam, which book I have to read? Talking about the reference books as given in the syllabus of Karnataka TET from the schooleducation.karnataka.gov.in website, we have this list. You should uh, go for Karnataka State Board Mathematics Textbook up to 10th standard. CBSC and NCRT exemplars will be useful. And uh, R.D. Sharma Mathematics from 6th to 8th, I mean 6th to 10th standard. And uh, Secondary School Mathematics for class 6th to 10th uh, by R.S. Agarwal. And uh, Concise Mathematics for ICSC, that is uh, Selena Publishers. And uh, Mathematics for class 8, 9 and 10th by New Age International Private Limited Publishers. Quantitative Aptitude Book also they are telling, Dr. R.S. Agarwal. And then... Method of Teaching Mathematics by S.K. Mangal, Pedagogy of Mathematics from NCRT and Importance of Learning Mathematics at Elementary Stage, Diploma in Elementary Education, NIOS and Teaching of Mathematics by Dr. Anis James. So these are the books they have given for uh, paper to mathematics. For science, uh, let us see whether they have given. They have not given it here, but as we all know, NCRT and Karnataka state books are the best books for preparing for Karnataka TET. If you have option of getting ICSC books, then it is well and good. You can go for at least purchasing for second hand books or if you have any relatives, kids are there or your neighbors are there, then you can also go for ICSC books for science also. Okay, but uh, free books means we have NCRT and Karnataka State Board textbooks. Now I will show you how to download these textbooks. Okay, so stay tuned and uh, watch carefully how I am downloading the, these textbooks. I will be using two websites. One website will be of the NCRT textbooks. Another website will be of the Karnataka State Board textbooks. Okay. I will be giving the link of these two websites in the description below this video. Just you can watch carefully how I am downloading the textbook. Then you can follow the link which I am giving in the description. And then you can also download these textbooks in your device. Okay. Uh, preferably 
it will be good if you download it in a laptop because it will be easy for you to read also right you cannot take printouts of so many books okay so you can make different folders you can make one folder for class 9 one folder for class 10 one folder for puc first year and one folder for puc second year with the subject names either it is physics it is mass it is chemistry or biology you can uh, maintain with the discipline the different folders it will help you in reading the textbooks okay so come along with me let us download these textbooks see i am here uh, this is the ncrt.nic.in textbook dot php okay the link i'll be giving there in the description okay I can also give this link in the telegram channel also no problem so you will go to this website if you click this link okay now you can select the class here for example i am selecting class 9 okay select the subject for example i am selecting mathematics then you can select the book title which you want mathematics is there ganit is there riyazi is there actually this ganit means it is in hindi riyazi means it will be in urdu we need English book, right? Mathematics in English we want. So click for mathematics. Okay. Then click go. So you will have this list of these books. Okay. Either you have option to download one single single chapter. You can download one single chapter or you can download the complete book. It is up to you how you want to download. Okay. You can download the complete book or you can download the single chapter. For example, I will download this first chapter. I will click on open. So I got this thing. Now this is the first chapter of class 9. Now I can click this down arrow mark. This see, see carefully. I can click this down arrow mark. So I will have a option to download. Okay. I can save with any name. Whichever name you want. Like you want class 9. Class 9. Chapter 1. Okay. And you can save it. Like this. Okay. So, this is how you can download the textbooks from this NCRT website. Now, let us go for uh, Karnataka website. This is the Karnataka website. This link also I will give in the description. Okay. Don't worry. You can go uh, in the description and you can click that link. You will get uh, this website here. So, you have this uh, choose class slash Taragati. So, you can use any class you want. Uh, but the thing is, no, this website, it will not give you PUC first year and PUC second year books. This proper website which I am giving, no. This will give you books till high school, okay. So, better you go for NCRT website for uh, PUC first year and second year. That is class 11 and class 12 books, okay. Actually, NCRT and Karnataka state books, they are same only. Only wrapper they will have changed. Okay. The content will be same only. So, I am going for 10th book now. Um, this thing, I clicked 10th and choose medium, Madhyama. We want English medium, right? So, click English and choose subject, whichever you want. Mathematics part 1, part 2, science part 1, part 2, whichever you want. I am clicking mathematics part 1. Okay. Now, you have option to textbook, download this textbook fully. See, I will click this, full textbook download. So, I am getting this uh, book because this is a huge book, right? So, it is taking little time to download. Uh, now, I think it will be downloaded. It is done. The blue line is uh, going to finish now. Ah, then that's it. It is done. So, this book is of 184 pages and uh, this is the book. Okay, class 10 book. See what all chapters are there in this. Arithmetic progressions, triangles, pair of linear equations in two variables, circles, areas related to circles, constructions, coordinate geometry and real numbers. Okay, you can click this download uh, arrow mark and then you can download it. Okay. Now, uh, many paid class aspirants ask me this doubt whether madam, which is the proper textbook you are using to make the paid classes. See, the answer is I cannot save one name because I am not using any one single textbook. Okay. If you are a paid class aspirant, you can even cross check. I have showed you the website now. You know how to download the textbooks. You can download the textbooks and you can match with my classes. You will not find similar things because I am not using only one proper book. 
i have a library of books which i refer and uh, i with my experience decide what type of questions may be asked okay because uh, see my intuition goes correct every time you have seen it in gpstr and karnataka tet also okay so in that way you can trust on me because my intuition uh, goes very well that is because of my experience okay but then i am giving you these textbooks for reference that is for your preparation if you are a paid class aspirant then don't worry you can simply go along with my classes if you have more time even after attending the class after practicing everything from my notes after reading everything and after practicing from the practice worksheets if you have still time then you go for these books from the ncrt and the karnataka state books okay